Hello. Home of the good guys here. And I'm the Cartoon Man 13. And this time, we thought we would review my favorite movie of all time, since I saw a reissue of it back when I was a baby in 1978. It came along with the small one. And of course, I have the 1993 VHS and 2009 70th anniversary DVD. I also have the 70th anniversary DVD as well. And that movie is Pinocchio. Who are the good guys and bad guys? The good guys are Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, and there is a lot of bad guys. Not so interesting. What was the plot? The movie begins as a book, when Jiminy Cricket tells the story. There, we see Geppetto. He was making a puppet. Let me guess, it's Pinocchio. Yes, it was. Anyway, Geppetto wishes for the puppet to be a real boy. Then a fairy comes to the scene, making the puppet come to life. The next day, Pinocchio was about to go to school, until Honest John and Gideon came into the mix. They wanted him to go to a show. Why wouldn't Pinocchio listen to Jiminy Cricket? I don't know. Anyway, he arrives at the show, singing I Got No Strings. Then he gets kidnapped by Stromboli. Then Jiminy Cricket comes and rescues Pinocchio. Before they got away, they see the fairy. Pinocchio starts to lie, forcing his nose to grow. Then his nose is back to normal. No way. Yes, way. Anyway, we see Honest John and Gideon with the coachman. Then we see Pinocchio confronting John and Jit again. This time, he goes to Pleasure Island, then almost turns to a donkey. Holy shoot. Yes. Anyway, he gets away, then goes underwater to find his dad inside Monstro. Then they got away with it. That was a close call. Yes, it was. Anyway, we come to the final sequence, where Pinocchio almost gets killed. Then the fairy comes again, where he becomes a real boy. Uh, yes. That was a good plot. I give it a 10 out of 10. Yes, me too. Let me talk to you about the home video history of the film. It was first released on home video in 1985 as part of the Walt Disney Classics series. I used to have a copy of that, but I got rid of it because it was a bootleg. Then in 1993, there was another home video release as once again part of the classics, which I still have. Then in 1999, the film was released as a 60th anniversary home video and DVD, which I don't have. Then, in 2009, a 70th anniversary Platinum Edition DVD and Blu-ray was released, which I have as well. Yeah, I also have that 70th anniversary DVD. That is our movie review for Pinocchio. We will see you next time.